Let's now change open box a bit more. So in other tutorials, we went into this one, we went into this one. We have explained what Compton is, the keyboard shortcuts, the tint. But these two, they should be examined together, I think. Let's go to obconf and let's go to Alex Appearance. You'll see why because they're a bit similar sometimes in this one in LX appearance open box and in open box configuration manager both ways to change our arc theme so we have an arc theme here which is blue but that's great because of the blue wallpaper and the blue conky and all that but we could go to an arc dark crimson apply it and then we have everything in, in red but um, let's just keep it now at uh, blue. Not all sounds, I've changed that. So in my configuration files, you copy it. It says use not all sounds 12. So it's time to make it smaller or bigger or another font. That's down here. Then the color, you can't change some of the themes. Maybe you can, but arc dark is not possible. Icon team, you choose your own icon team. Select them. The mouse cursor is breeze snow. Great. The window border is a bit specific. Um, out of the box, the look from Antergos is a bit old in the sense that you have this older versions. And if you are using Linux a bit longer, then you'll know what I mean with older. So these templates were from 10, 20 years ago. So there is a specific one, Arc Dark, which is kind of trying to be the same as the Arc Dark uh, from Horst 3180. So it's a specific installation you have to do, otherwise you won't have it. But it's in the scripts. If you installed it, fine, it's in here. And then I didn't change anything here. And then you're good to go. So we've, I've gone through all of it, I guess. That this was a, an interesting tip. Don't forget to set it here if you want to change it like so. Then the open box configuration manager. So some of the things are the same. Fine. And then we added this one as well. This little icon. If you don't use it, if you don't want to use it. So if you click on it, it's back. Uh, it's out of the way. I think it's neat. Um, not that I've been using it recently, but it's neat. And we can tell him what icons we need. As you see, uh, I have omitted the Windows icon. I don't want to see the Windows icon. Um, oh, sorry. Let's try to put the N there. I don't like the icon that's in there. So I told him altogether, get rid of it. So window label, iconify, minimize, maximize, all these things, Ch do check it out. Here are all my fonts. So I decided to have the menu header. So if, if you think, damn, he's using such a big menu, then that's normal. Let's make it smaller for you. So you see the effect 12. Okay. Probably can read 12 as well. <laughs> so this is the menu header and the menu item and all the rest these elements and so on um we'll see it in a bit no i will forget it oh i know myself i'll forget it let's see the effect so menu generator and you have to generate a new menu of course and it will be a bit smaller also quite nice so i think i'm gonna keep 12. You can make it as small as you like, but at some point in, in, in the when you scale down, the icons will be a bit, uh, I don't know, will, won't be nice anymore. So 12 is still okay, so let's keep it. And that's the normal icon you should have. Aha, now it's in order. Okay, um, Windows. To check out what settings you like, these are the standard settings we have in all distros. Moving, resizing and all that. Mouse, focus on, moves over them. Standard settings. Only two of them. 
and I've renamed them as you saw it early on and how I did it uh, was not here yeah sorry it was here <laughs> so you double click it and you change the name and then the margins didn't change anything here although I thought it was two or something I don't know I think it was two put it to one to zero doc oh doc don't know what it is doc is a special container for doc apps so doc application of visual green the doc app is run used to show things like clock okay so I don't have these things so never changed it so there you go um, that's all you need to know to figure out these two are the basic the, the most important ones to change your layout and all we can do next is change this this has not been explained yet and all the rest in here has now been explained and all the rest are just programs uh, running programs and so on and using it do check out the keyboards keyboard shortcuts are important let's show you another one windows shift b super shift b is going to run eventually nothing that's how you have to do it and maybe we can make the tutorial a bit longer then why is it not running you go to your keyboard shortcuts and maximize it and super what am I doing windows so super shift B super shift B super shift B maybe not included possible it's one of the shortcuts I use in i3 WM to go to Nemo control alt B Eric I've made a shortcut from alt B but not control shift B any other B no more B's let's quickly make one for you guys so you can see so making a keyboard shortcut had, is clicking on plus scrolling down here is a blue line mm -hmm. and then new accelerator mm -hmm. windows shift b shift v b mm -hmm. but sometimes it doesn't work so you have to help him you can really type it as uh, the same so i'm gonna use big b it doesn't matter so um, shift super b is gonna be what plus focus no don't focus anything execute yes execute what Nemo that's it how do you save it here with this little icon how we test it Windows Shift B there you go another uh, keyboard shortcut that I'm gonna upload in a bit so I hope I've been thorough enough and uh, I hope you enjoy open box it takes uh, some time to, to get through the learning curve, but if you use all these scripts and follow the tutorials, I think I can give you a kickstart in this open box environment. And um, you'll see that the CPU is not consuming a lot of energy here, sort of power, neither is the memory. So it might be a thing to consider if you have a uh, computer that's a bit older. So anyway, enjoy open box.